49ers get the dub. Final score, 30-12. to 12. In very dominating fashion, especially if you're somebody that didn't watch the game and you only looked at the box score, you might think, wow, Giants weren't in this at all. It's kind of wrong. Let's talk about it. So, for the first portion of this game, it was kind of neck and neck. The Giants kept on forcing the 49ers to kick a field goal, which stood out to me tremendously. But one thing, we got ourselves a field goal kicker over here in San Fran. Jake Moody, I've held off from talking about him for three weeks now, and now here we are. Jake Moody is a good kicker. He had some problems in the preseason. Feels like he has wheeled it in. I'm looking at the stats right here. That's why I have my phone pulled up. Jake Moody, though. The Niners defense held Daniel Jones to 137 yards, no touchdowns, and an interception. That's awesome. The Giants' leading rusher had 17 yards. That's Matt Breida, former Niner. Love you. He did get a touchdown, but they had 29 rushing yards total as a team. They were averaging 145 rushing yards per game coming into tonight. That's with Dallas, and that's with Arizona. We held them to 29 yards. That's sick. Another thing I'll talk about with the Giants is they were dialing up the pressure early on. They were bringing five, six, seven guys and just flushing Brock out of the pocket, making him throw the ball away. That's where a lot of his incompletions went. There was at least six to eight just throwaway balls because he was getting pressured. And the one good thing Brock Purdy does is not make the big, big mistake. He'll just throw the ball away. He'll just take the sack. He's perfectly fine with that because we're trying to win the game. This is chestnut checkers, okay? They don't have to throw the ball down the field and make a big play every single time. Now, that pressure was getting to Brock early on in that game, and it was making him throw a few throws that I was like, ooh, no, that was actually kind of scary. There was one where he threw the Debo, and it got knocked straight up in the air, and then Ronnie Bell came over and made the very heads-up play and got the first down. That was awesome. Ronnie Bell also got a touchdown pass, his first-ever career touchdown pass. That was sick, and that was with pressure right into Brock Purdy's face. It was just a front-corner fade and touchdown. Beautiful throw, beautiful catch awesome. McCaffrey obviously continues to be, I don't know, the early season MVP right now. 85 yards and a touchdown, 4.7 yards of carry, also tacked on 34 yards receiving on five receptions. So I'm just like, okay, over 100 total yards once again. Elijah Mitchell looked really good. 11 carries for 42 yards. I mean, I'll take that all day. Overall, our rushing game was stellar tonight. Made the plays when they need to. Our Run blocking is immaculate. Aaron Banks and Spencer Buford, awesome. Jake Brendel was even getting nasty in there, kind of almost dirty. Like, our interior line, very solid. Like, it's more solid than I thought it would ever be. Like, I'm, I'm super pleased with it. Brock Purdy. Like I said, there was about six to eight passes that were just complete throwaways because he wasn't trying to make the big mistake and just throw a ball in there when it didn't need to run in there. He just threw the ball away and lived to see another play. So he was 25 of 37 for 310 yards and two touchdowns, no picks. Bro is on another level right now, conducting his team to victory every single week. Like if you're a 49ers fan and you're watching the game, you are so confident with how Brock Purdy is leading the team down the field every single time. And you feel very confident with the decisions that he makes when he pulls that trigger. I love it. Again, he had a quarterback rating of 111.3. Here we are again with Brock Purdy just being him. And he got the ball to his receivers so that they could go make space. Because he was a little bit inaccurate on the first couple of drives. And then you can see Kyle Shanahan just brings him down to earth a little bit. I was like, okay, let's get your confidence back up. Let's throw some screen passes, and then we can eventually work back down the field. So he was throwing the screen passes out to Debo. Debo breaking it off to the left. Threw a screen pass out to McCaffrey to the right. Breaking tackles, dragging bodies, catching bodies out there. It was wild. And then eventually starts throwing the ball downfield and getting Kittle involved. Getting Debo involved down the field. There was this 140-yard play. Debo literally broke four to five tackles, cut it back, and then dragged a couple more people. There were seven New York Giants it took to bring him down 40, like three yards down the field. It was 
an awesome play. That's what Debo does. Debo had six receptions for 129 yards and a tutty. The touchdown was so beautiful. Pressure in Brock Purdy's face. He threw it right so Debo turned to the pylon, caught it, so his back's to the DB. Perfect throw, perfect catch, touchdown. It was awesome. We didn't have Ayuk tonight. Nursing that shoulder. So Debo had a day. Kittle, seven receptions for 90 yards. And stellar, obviously, in the blocking game. Juan Jennings does what he does. A couple catches for 31 yards. Where he talked about McCaffrey getting 34 yards. Ronnie Bell had two catches for 24 yards and a touchdown. Bosa and Javon Hargrave had a sack. They both had two QB hits. They both had multiple pressures. The pressure was there all night. Javon Kinlaw was making plays. Owen Burks had a couple of TFLs. Javarius Ward had a couple of pass breakups. Hufanga found the ball once again because that's what him and his awesome locks always do finds the ball fred warner tipped it straight up in the air hufanga came down with the interception ran it back about 10 yards it was a wonderful night beautiful night for 49er football i don't know about y'all but it looks like the niners are the best team in the league after three games it just looks that way there's a long season to go and you gotta keep going one and oh every single week to the best of your ability but right now they're looking mighty good we just gotta stay healthy Lord willing, and just keep this well-oiled machine going. I am thoroughly impressed with that game. 30-12, to 12, once again, the final score. And y'all, I'm just like happy that my team is the 49ers right now. They've gone through some interesting years in my day. And right now we're going through some good times where we can actually be happy and look forward to a 49ers football game. And that's all I can ask for. So I appreciate y'all for watching this. If you got anything to talk about concerning this game, the Dallas game coming up in a couple of weeks, whatever, comment down below. And I'll talk to you. Peace.